Okay, in today's video, I'm going to be going over how to solve systems of linear equations by graphing. And because I'm currently teaching, teaching math in Berlin, Germany, this is known in German as the Graphisches Verfahren or the graphing method. And here we go. We have these two equations, y equals 1 half x plus 5 and y equals minus 5 half x minus 1. Those are both the equations for a line. And we want to find the one point, the one x and y coordinate that is a solution for both of those linear equations. And that is the point where those two lines intersect each other. So this is the Graphisches Verfahren. This is graphing. We're going to graph both lines and see what point, at what point these two lines intersect. And then we'll see that that point is the solution for both of these equations. We're going to start with the first one, y equals 1 half x plus 5. We're going to graph this line. This line is currently in the slope intercept form. This is the y intercept. So we're going to put a point at plus 5 on the y axis. It's the y intercept. 1, 2, 3, four, five, we put a point right here. This one half is the slope, the rise over the run. We're going to rise one, we're going to run two, we're going to put another point right there, and then we are going to graph the line. Now we're going to be solving this equa these equations by graphing, so you have to graph them very carefully because hopefully the two lines are going to intersect and they're going to intersect somewhere on the grid for the graph. Let's do the second one. y equals negative 5 half x plus, excuse me, minus 1. That means the y-intercept is minus 1. I'm going to put a point right at minus 1. Then I'm going to get the second point using the slope. I start at my y-intercept. This is minus 5 halves, so I'm going to go down 5, minus 5 over 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 2. And if I did that correctly, I should have another point right there. I'm going to draw that line, and you can see that those two lines intersect right at this point. That means that this point and this point only is the solution for these two lines. All right, now I'm going to check and make sure that I did this correctly and that I have the lines graphed and that this point, which has the coordinates minus 2, x is minus 2, y is 4, I'm going to check to make sure that that is the solution for both of those lines. I'm going to mach eine Probe. So let's check the first check. We're going to check this equation. I have y and I have x. I'm going to substitute my y and my x values in so that I have 4 equals 1 half times minus 2 plus 5. I'm going to multiply 1 half times minus 2, and that is going to give me 4 equals minus 1 plus 5. And you can see that 4 equals 4, and because I get 4 equals 4, I know that this point at least is a solution to this line, or that this point at least lies on the orange line. Now I'm also going to check the other equation, the blue line. I'm going to use this equation, and once again I'm going to substitute the same point, the x and the y values, into this equation. I get 4 equals minus 5 halves times minus 2 minus 1. All right. Now this is 4, and this is a minus and a minus, so it's going to give me a positive value. All right, and that means I'm going to get 4 equals 5. Okay, you can just do this on your calculator. 5 or minus 5 times minus 2 divided by 2 will give you 5, or you can see the 2's cancel, but you have to remember a minus times a minus is a positive, minus 1, and once again you get 4 equals 4. Because that checks for both, this point checks for both equations, that tells me that this is the correct point that is the solution for both equations, and therefore that is the point where those two lines intersect. All right, let's try one more. Once again, we have two equations. We want to find 
what is the solution to these two equations? Where do these two lines intersect? What point is the solution for both of those equations? We're going to graph the first one. The y-intercept is plus 6. I'm going to put a point at plus 6. The slope is minus 2, which I have told you before to write as minus 2 over 1. We're going to go down 2 and over 1, so we should have another point right there. We draw the line. That is the line y equals minus 2x plus 6. Now we're going to graph the other line. The y-intercept is minus 2. The slope is 2 thirds. We're going to rise 2 and run 3. We put a point right there. We draw the line. And you can see that those two lines intersect right here at this point. That point has the coordinates x is 3, y is 0. And hopefully, this point is the solution to both of these lines. This is the point where these two lines intersect. And we just showed that graphically. But let's check once again. We're going to check the first one. We're going to substitute our x and our y values in. You get 0 equals minus 2 times 3. 3 is our x value plus 6. So then we get 0 equals minus 6 plus 6. And we get 0 equals 0. So now we know that this point at least lies on this line. This point is a solution to this equation. Let's check the other one and make sure that that point is also a solution for that line. We're going to, once again, substitute in our x and our y values. We get 0 equals 2 thirds times 3 minus 2. You can see that this 3 will cancel with this 3, or 2 times 3 divided by 3 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. So 0 equals 0, and that tells us that this point is also on this line, or this point is also a solution to this equation. And we showed that this point is a solution to both equations, so this is the point where those two lines intersect. Okay? That is how you solve systems of linear equations graphically. We graph them, we found the point where those two lines intersect, and we checked to make sure that the, that point is on both of those lines, okay? Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, you can do all of the following three things. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel, get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. You can give me a thumbs up for this video and leave me a nice positive comment in the comment section below. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next video.